approximately 66 million years ago, at the end of the Cretaceous period, the dinosaurs, who had ruled the Earth for millennia, suddenly vanished. It's widely acknowledged that this global catastrophe was triggered by a devastating asteroid strike, but what happened immediately after the impact? We decided to travel back in time to relive the horror of those first few moments. What we found was more shocking and incredible than we could have ever imagined. Join us as we visit an ancient world on the cusp of annihilation, a world lost in time and turmoil. On our journey, we'll discover which ancient beasts were wiped out in an instant, learn how the survivors managed to cling desperately to life, we'll see how our planet slowly began to heal, how humans rose from the ashes, and finally, will reveal how a similar mass extinction event could be just years away. It's the end of the Mesozoic Era, tens of millions of years before the first humans set foot on the Earth. The air is rich in carbon dioxide, temperatures are 5 to 10% higher than they are today. Thick conifer forests cover the landscape. Dinosaurs have been the dominant species for more than 165 million years, but their time is drawing to a close. Overhead, a small, almost imperceptible point of light appears in the sky. The light is the iridescent plasma tail of a giant asteroid hurtling through the cosmos on a deadly collision course with Earth. As the days tick by, the object gets bigger and bigger, until it finally fills the sky from horizon to horizon, blotting out the sun. Moments later, the asteroid slams into the Earth, bigger than Mount Everest, at a massive 6 miles in diameter, and traveling at around 27,000 miles an hour, the asteroid vaporizes on impact, turning the surrounding rock to liquid, and unleashing a blast wave 100 million times more powerful than the largest thermonuclear weapon ever detonated. Within minutes, mega tsunamis sweep across the globe, with mile-high waves battering the coastlines, displacing unimaginable volumes of water, and destroying everything in their path. Massive earthquakes and landslides reverberate around the world, triggering more tsunamis and creating a relentless chain of destruction. Moments after impact, raging firestorms roar across the continent, incinerating everything within a thousand-mile radius, torching forests and grasslands, and igniting fleeing animals like candles. For mighty dinosaurs like Diplodocus and T-Rex, there's nowhere to hide. Those that aren't instantly vaporized or engulfed in flames are swept away by the retreating waves. Within hours, rock and debris launched into the atmosphere by the initial blast begin falling to Earth as scorching droplets of glass, raining down with the force of 20 million megatons of TNT. Temperatures soar and the planet becomes a roaring inferno. After the end of the first day, most of the dinosaurs and countless other plants, animals, and organisms are obliterated. In a blinding flash, the world is changed forever. The collision created a giant crater, 100 miles wide and 12 miles deep on what is now the Gulf of Mexico, leaving a scar on our planet that remains to this day. So what happened next? In the immediate aftermath, around 75% of all life on Earth is snuffed out. Acid rain devastates the oceans, and half of all plant life is extinguished. Soot and dust from the impact and the fires block out the sun, plunging the Earth into shadow, a cold, eerie darkness that lasts for years. Temperatures plummet. The few plants that survived the blast begin to wither and die, condemning the remaining herbivores. For a time, the few surviving carnivores enjoy a feeding frenzy, as they feast on the scattered carcasses of fallen dinosaurs. Within weeks, this glut of rotting flesh is gone, and with that, the last of the dinosaurs dwindle and die. In the wake of the extinction, Earth becomes a barren, desolate wasteland. Life seems lost, yet somehow it clings on. Gradually, the survivors begin to repopulate the scorched world. Single-celled organisms known as foraminifera are among the first to bounce back, appearing inside the impact crater within a few years. Ferns quickly follow, and over the next millennium they spread like wildfire across the scarred landscape. For the gaggle of small mammals, birds and reptiles that somehow endured, life is hard. They face a stark, unforgiving world, with few flowering plants or seeds to sustain them. Over the next 100,000 years, mammals slowly begin to recover, as lush palm forests blanket the virgin earth, giving them the nourishment they need to thrive and grow. The largest of these early mammals grow as big as raccoons. Another 200,000 years go by, and the palms give way to an explosion of flowering plants. Large mammals, weighing in at as much as 55 pounds, about the size and weight of a beaver, stalk the land, staking their claim as rulers of this brave new Eden. Life marches on as mammals adapt and evolve alongside the ever-changing landscape. 
Then, around 700,000 years after the impact, the first beans begin to sprout. These nutrient-rich plants act as protein bars for our ancient mammalian cousins, fueling an explosion in growth and diversification. By now, larger beasts are emerging, with some mammals reaching up to 110 pounds, the size of a modern cheetah. In less than a million years, mammals have grown to a hundred times the size of their fern-eating ancestors. And while that might seem like an eternity, in the grand sweep of evolution, it's a blink of an eye. The oceans take longer to heal, around three million years. But corals, shrimp, and fish slowly gain a foothold, filling the evolutionary void left by the extinction. Other resilient creatures like turtles and proto-crocodiles hang grimly to life, saved by their innate ability to dive and swim, waiting out the apocalypse in primeval swamps and pools. Birds, too, start to recover. The only dinosaur lineage to survive, adapt, and thrive. In time, Earth's scars begin to heal and evolution paves the way for the rise of humans, born out of the ashes of a devastated world. Strange to think that the asteroid that ultimately doomed the dinosaurs became the catalyst for human existence. But what if such a catastrophe happened again? Given what we've seen, surely humanity would perish, unable to survive an extinction event of such magnitude. Worryingly, the seed of our destruction could already be on its way, tumbling inexorably through the blackness of space. This rocky harbinger of doom is known as Apophis, aptly named after the serpent-like Egyptian god of chaos. According to scientists, this massive celestial object, smaller but no less deadly than the one that ended the reign of the dinosaurs, will come into range of Earth in April 2029. Odds are it will pass harmlessly between the Earth and the Moon, grazing our atmosphere on its journey into the farther reaches of space. But if its course were to deviate, even slightly, the asteroid could smash into Earth, condemning us to the same grisly fate that befell the dinosaurs. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and don't forget to click notifications to stay updated on more fascinating insights coming your way soon. Thanks for watching.